This is a movie. This is a movie. This is a movie. This is a movie. Ah! Ha. What? Shut up, Dad. You don't even know. Sinister. Now, coming into this movie, I actually did not have any idea what it was about. Um, I did not see the trailer for it. I didn't see the trailer. Um, if there was a commercial on TV, I would mute it and just not watch it. And apparently when my brother was in the theaters, um, and the trailer, trailer for Sinister came up, and he actually left the theater because he didn't want to know anything about it. All we basically knew was that it was a haunted house movie, Ethan Hawke was in it, and apparently it was supposed to be really scary. And... Oh my god, this movie was really fucking scary and so good. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about this movie. Well, Sinister is about Ethan Hawke, and um, he's a novelist who writes about like true murders. And he moves into a new house. Apparently, um, a family was murdered in, which were um, and they were hung. And so he's basically trying to find, trying to solve this whole thing by finding some found footage on a Super 8 camera. And doing that is also causing his family and himself to have a bunch of supernatural discoveries. Now, the acting, which is very rare in a horror movie, actually was good. Um, Ethan Hawke actually was, did a really good job in this movie. Um, he was a really good character to follow. You didn't get bored of his character, and I think he did a really good job. I was very surprised. Julia Rylance, who played um, Ethan Hawke's wife in this movie, I just, I just didn't really like her character. I thought her character was very boring and very cliched. And most of the time when it's like the wife or girlfriend in a horror movie, I, I usually end up not liking him. Well... If the main character's a man, I usually end up not liking him, and I didn't really like her at all. And she did an okay job, but I just didn't like her character, and it bothered me a lot. James Ransone, um, who played the deputy in this movie, he actually did a really good job. He definitely brought some comedy relief to the movie, which um, I thought was really cool, and he did a really good job. And um, He's not in that much movies, but I've looked on his IMDb page after I saw this movie. He's been in a lot of movies, but he hasn't been like, the extreme main part yet. He's been usually a supporting cast, and he does a good job of it. Now, let's get on to what I did like and what I didn't like about this movie. Now, this movie scared the shit out of me. This movie is fucking terrifying. And that is what I wanted. It is what I wanted. I wanted to be scared the shit out of be not going to sleep. And seriously, I'm probably not going to go to sleep. It's 2.15 in the morning and I'm reviewing it. Man, this movie scared the shit out of me along with my, with my brother and... And our two friends who went with us. And my friend who was sitting next to me she, um, got like really scared during this movie. And along is my brother and my other friend. And it was just so funny seeing them scared. Because we were all just like sitting there all freaked out. Like on the edge of our seat. And that's what I want in a horror movie. When you go to a horror movie with friends. Usually when I see a horror movie. I start laughing because it's so terrible. But this movie was actually scary. Kept me on the edge of my seat. Like going like this. Covering my mouth. Like, getting goosebumps, getting freaked out. And I had such a blast. Because I, this, I've this i never had to deal with this. In a, I've never dealt with this in a horror film in theaters in a long time. And I am so happy about that. And this movie has to deal with, like, a Super 8 camera. And, like, whenever, like, you hear you hear the thing go off. And, like, you're hearing, like, the film strip go off. And whenever you hear that, you're like, oh, shit. You better start... Getting in the edge of your seat because it's gonna get freaking scary. Oh, like whenever you heard that, pe me and everyone else in the audience were like, "Oh shit!" because you knew something really, really scary was gonna happen. And there are some scenes that are just really disturbing. This movie had hardcore balls. This movie had a lot of balls, and it had a lot of disturbing stuff in this movie. It's very disturbing, and I mean, not just like. A little bit disturbing, but very disturbing. There's this one thing that I'm not going to spoil for you, but when you see the movie, you're probably going to know what I'm talking about. It is just freaking horrifying and disturbing. It just it gave me goosebumps. I was freaked out. And there's nothing much I didn't like about this movie. I'm like, as you all knew, like the wife character, I didn't really like. I thought she was annoying and boring and cliched. And... Also, like, there's the scenes when, um, Ethan Hawke's just, like, walking down the hallway, like, trying to be freaked out, and 
I just didn't really like the scene. Some parts of it could just be very boring. Probably because, like, right after a scary scene, and they're trying to have everything act a little bit normal, I kind of got a little bit bored because I want everything to be scary again because I haven't seen a really scary horror film in such a long time. So maybe that was why, but for me right now, I just didn't really like how it got boring sometimes. But hey, horror films have become a lot, a lot more critical. And also, the name of the kind of like killer paranormal being in the movie is named Mr. Boogie. Maybe probably sure for Mr. Boogie Man. Mr. Boogie. Really? That was the scariest name you could come up with? Mr. Boogie? This is not a fucking Scooby-Doo episode. Don't make the name Mr. Boogie. Make it something scary, at least. God. Well, overall, you guys, Sinister is definitely one of the best horror movies I've seen in such a long time. I'm so happy that I got to see this movie, and I'm so happy that someone had the goodness and gracious to write this movie and for the director of this movie, even though you directed um. One of the Hellraiser movies, that was terrible. I forgive you now because of this movie. And also, you got the Day of the Earth, so it's still a remake. I forgive you for that now, too. This movie was awesome. Definitely one of the best horror movies I've seen in so long. You should definitely see this movie with a group of friends. It'll scare the shit out of you. And it's definitely going to have a big audience. So overall, I'll be giving Sinister 4.5 out of 5 stars. Definitely one of the best horror movies I've seen on... Um, for a long time. It's definitely one of my favorite movies so far this year. And that's my review of Sinister, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed my review. And I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys later. Should I go to bed? No.